What I learned in Primark is never trust the hangers. Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Shalina and I'm back with a new video. I have no idea, but today I'm in such a good mood. I don't know if you have this sometimes that you just wake up and you're just in a good mood. Like I have no explanation for this, like nothing happened, but I'm just appreciating life today. So today it's Friday night, everyone's going out, but I glammed up to shoot a primer call. I don't know, I don't know what I should say about primer, but I think I've said this in my last haul, I actually dislike shopping in Primark only, not even because of the clothes, because it's always so rammed. But every time I go in there, I'm lucky. It's not even as rammed. And I was even in Oxford Circus. For those that don't know where it is, it's in central London, so you can expect it to be so rammed. But when I was there, I was luckily not in that situation. I literally was in there for, I think, 20 to 30 minutes, maybe. I just grabbed everything, everything, everything. And I spent... I ended up spending 235 pounds, which is a lot for Primark, but obviously I have four big bags with thin summer clothes, so you can get excited for everything that I'm going to show you now. I'm talking too much today, so I'm going to cut this off now and we are going straight to the video. I'm going to start with bag number one. And I already see the trench coat I fell in love with. So the first item is this tech coat. It has yellow details on it. What I learned in Primark is never trust the hangers. The last time I was there, I was honestly just looking at the hangers, took everything home and like, I'm not an extra small. I'm seeing here right now, it says extra large. And I'm happy that I looked because since I lost a little bit of weight, I'm not an extra large anymore. So this is a UK 10, it cost 30 pound and I think this is amazing. It has a nice detail, y'all know I love yellow, which I can combine with my nice little cute yellow bag. I can wear this on a summer evening or I can wear this during spring. And um, I'm just thinking I would pay triple of this if I would have bought this at Zara. I feel like it does look like Zara, it has a touch of Zara, but it's just 30 pound and I think it's really worth it. On to the next item. Here we have a ripped off the shoulder mustard summer dress. I think it's midi. It is really cute. I honestly just bought it because of the color and I also love ripped material. And I find the buttons real cute. And um, I bought this in a size 10 as well. Oh, I'm not sure if that's gonna fit me as a dress. It went for 13 pound, I think. I think it's worth for just wearing it during the summer and then just let it go on Depop or somewhere. Then I bought this red jumpsuit. It has these uh, culotte legs. I don't know if you can see this. I'm just going to try it on. And um, I love red as well this year. You know, it's yellow, red, orange in that order. As the dress I just showed you, it has ripped material as well. It has a cute belt detail here. I had to cop this in a UK 14 only because my legs are still like a 12, 14, but my top, um, my top half is more like a 10. So I just have to hope that this is gonna look good on me. If it does, I'm definitely gonna take this on my next holiday because I, I just don't know if it's ever gonna be very hot here in this country. I don't know if I've said this, but I paid 10 pounds for this one. Excuse me, what size is this? UK4? Oh my days, that's what I mean. How did I buy a UK4? But to be honest with you guys, it looks huge. This doesn't look like a UK4. I like this hot pink detail. You can combine this with a nice all white outfit or maybe nude or even all black and just wear this jacket as a colored detail. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was even trusting the hanger and matches. But I find it very um, cute also for Primark with this distressed detail. I paid 20 pounds for this, but I think that's quite reasonable. The next item, this raincoat in my absolute favorite color in yellow. Bought a size large because I wanted to have this jacket oversight. 
I have to say, it only went for nine pound, but it is very thin. So you can actually just wear it when it's really hot or you have to wear something thick underneath. It is really thin material. But I think it's a cute color and um, I'm, I'm seeing myself wearing maybe all gray with it. That was bag number one. Now onto bag number two. I cop this simple white ripped, I feel like I bought so many things that are ripped. Um, crop top, it was, what was going on with me? I bought this in a UK six, skinny mini. <laughs> what I bought, I don't know why I bought this in a six, but I hope it fits. It looks actually big, Let, let's be honest. It actually looks big. It looks like a UK eight slash 10. I have one of these from Topshop, but obviously you cannot wear them for that long because they just get gray and, I needed a new one and I'm happy that I found one for only four pound. I don't know, I just bought this because of the colors. I mean, yellow, tech, pink, cute as well. And um, I just think when you're on holiday or somewhere, it's a cute dress and it was only six pound, come on. That is really, really reasonable. This is a UK 14, which is quite big, but to be honest with you guys, it looks, it looks not even that big. And I remember that there weren't smaller sizes and I was just thinking, I'm just going to buy that because this does not look like a UK 14. Yeah, I think this is a cute pick. The next two items are these cropped leggings. I just bought them because they were 250. Like, come on, what can I say about this? And I feel like with an oversized t-shirt in summer, this is always a look. It's just simple. And um, I bought them in a size 12. I don't know if I'm gonna try these on though right now. Yeah, but I feel like for 250, you don't have anything to lose with them. Oh, I bought some sleepwear too. I bought these shorts in a large. They look very big though, but I like it oversized when I'm sleeping. I hate sleeping with tight clothes. Bought these two cute shorts and matching tops. These shorts, I didn't even say how much they cost. 250 as well. 250 so i only paid five pound for both of them also for 215 to go with these shorts but that's what i really like about primark you know things like socks sleepwear it's just so cheap to buy and then i bought some gray i don't know what this is this looks a bit cropped as well but longer than the other ones so I have no idea what this is. I don't know if they're long or if they're a bit cropped because that's not what I like. They're either short or they're long, but this in-between kind of thing. These trousers are so cute. Um, they remind me of Zara or Topshop so much. Mustard yellow. It has black and white stripes here on the side. Very decent though. They cost only 13 pound. They have a white leg and I bought them in a UK 12. I think I wanted to go for a 14, but I always have this problem that it is tight on my legs and so loose on my waist. So I just have to accept that most of these trousers are always gonna be a bit tighter on my legs than they're meant to be, but I don't mind. Then I bought glasses. These are so cute and only two pound. I think for two pound, you can also wear them like this, you know? I'm definitely gonna be taking this on my next holiday. What else do we have in here? Oh, it is broken. I bought the face and body bronzer, literally only to try it out, to give Primark Beauty a chance, 250. I think that is, yeah, this is very affordable for a highlighter, but I'm a bit disappointed that it is broken already. I feel like I showed you quite a lot already, but that were only two out of four bags. We're going on to bag number three. And the first item out of this bag is this denim jacket. I really like the wash of this denim jacket. The blue is a nice blue. 12 pound guys, 12 pound. Can you imagine? I feel like even if you don't want to wear it long, you can also crop it. I mean, for 12 pound, and the material doesn't even feel like 12 pound. But what I was gonna say is the wash is really nice because I'm very picky when it comes to the blue of my denim jacket. Because I feel like especially when it comes to the cheaper ones, there are a lot of them that just look, they just do, it's just not, just don't do it. The next item is this yellow crop top, ripped as well. Don't really have much to say about it, five pound. 
the UK 10 yellow my favorite color like always and yeah what can I say about this gonna look nice with denim gonna look nice with a skirt gonna look nice with everything because it's yellow the next item is this cute I think it's off the shoulder this cute off the shoulder blouse it has a cute flower detail on it which I really like you can I think you can even adjust it here if it's too big the only problem is that it was sold out in all the small sizes and I was thinking let me just try a UK 14 but for 10 pound I just find it so cute then we have this is something between orange and red I would say I don't know if it looks very red in the camera but here it looks a bit orangey as well crop top I liked this detail because it looks as if I just cut it myself that's why I like three pound copped it in a UK 10 the next item is orange five pound I like these details here because I feel like it's gonna look good with a nice high-waisted denim jeans uh, denim jeans am I crazy denim jeans <laughs> it's gonna look good with a pair of denim jeans and um, size 10 but what I like about this and this is the slogan of everyone I feel like okay it's a bit it's a bit late it's a bit delayed but living my best life that's what it said here and that's the only reason why I copped it to be honest with you guys then we have some cargo trousers in green 15 pound cop these in a UK 14 I just wanted to try out some primer bottoms I'm really scared of the sizes I do not like going into changing rooms I always buy and I rather return. I'm that annoying girl that comes with two big bags just to return stuff. Yes, that's me. I'm here with the last bag. I bought a hooded long length robe in medium for only £10 and it is so cozy. I love robes. I love coming home, changing immediately and putting on a cozy robe. I don't care if it's summer or winter. Obviously, I also need it because the postman comes so, like, they always come at the most random times. Maybe when I'm in the shower just now or something and you don't know what to put on. So this is always the perfect solution for everything. Then I copped some sport foodies, sport socks, 350. I'm just going to try them out. Then I copped some jeans, some ripped skinny jeans. Like I said, I just want to try out primer bottoms just to find out if I can maybe find more affordable jeans. They cost 15 pounds. I went for UK 14. I think Primark jeans, they even go up to like 16, 18, 20. I'm sure I've seen this, which is very good actually for 15 pounds that they also have bigger sizes because I always have problems. Sometimes I'll be ordering the bigger size, yeah, on a web shop, get them. And I'm like, if they don't fit me, what are other girls doing? This is so unfair. Then we have another pair of jeans. Skinny jeans, mid-rise, 15 pound, also UK 14. They have some stripes here on the sides, yellow, white, and black. I think the stripe is a nice detail this summer, this spring, it's not even summer yet. So I like this distress detail here at the bottom. This is the last item. Some orange or rusty orange trousers. They also remind me so much of Zara. Bought them in a UK 16. I think I bought them in the UK 16 because they looked so small. 13 pound, feels nice, feels good. And I think, yeah, summer, spring, these are just typical trousers that you would just wear on a warm day. Okay guys, I think that was it. There's nothing in this bag anymore. I hope you had fun watching my primer card. I hope you liked some of the items that I showed you. And I also hope that your primer has the stuff that I showed you. Anyways, I'm talking too much today. Let me just cut it off. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts. And then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.